Today I want to share a tip about modern SharePoint pages and a new feature for collapsible sections. Uh, this is something that a lot of people have been excited about. This is rolling out in July, so if you don't have it yet, uh, it should be hitting your tenant very soon. I just want to show you some examples, if you aren't familiar with this ask that has been around for a while, um, just of when this kind of thing might be handy. And then we'll look at how you actually can implement this in your SharePoint pages. So here I have an example of Microsoft support site, and this is just one of their many um, help pages. And if I scroll down, you'll notice there's this section here that has um, four different uh, options, some questions here that you can expand and read more. So you can have a lot of content on your page and then have additional content that you might want to collapse down. Again, I usually think of things like frequently asked questions um, that people would be able to just quickly detect and then say, yep, I want that one, click on it and read what's there underneath the hood. Um, another example that I found that's really good with this kind of thing is YouTube's help. So if you come onto YouTube's help, you'll see the same kind of setup where you can expand and collapse these major categories and find a set of links um, below. So if you wanna set up something similar to this on your SharePoint page, it's now an easy, easy option and it's a lot of fun to play with. So um, I have a page set up here with that very setup, these collapsible sections. And I just want to show you first how they look so by default, I've got these all collapsed and you can, as a user coming into this page, just click on the sections that you see and look at the content that's within. And it's not just for text. Uh, you can click and basically get any kind of content that you would put inside of a SharePoint page. So stream web parts, uh, Yammer web parts, all of that's gonna work within these collapsible sections. Very cool stuff. So let's see how you can do this. If you just edit your page, uh, hopefully you're familiar with editing modern SharePoint pages and sections on the page. So that's usually over on the left-hand side, these little plus signs for adding a new section. That's what you're gonna wanna do. For every instance where you want that collapsible option, you're gonna create a brand new section. So a lot of times you might create a page, you want the same layout and the same color scheme the whole way through. So you might only use one section on a page normally. But for this case, you're gonna to wanna to create lots of different sections. So here, each one of these is its own section. And if you wanted to create another one, you would just click the plus sign, choose the layout that you would like for that section, and then when you have the new section added, you click edit section. And over on the right hand side, you see the typical choices. Uh, again, you can change the layout if you want. You can change um, the shading options if you want. And now this new option is for make this section collapsible. If I turn that on, I get some additional options here section display name and that's basically what these things are so whatever you want people to see when the section is collapsed is going to be what you put in your section display name so if i just wanted an intro um you know i could put that in there you'll see that it, that was added at the top here that's not um a web part that is the actual uh, section display name and then the default is to have the section displayed uh, it's expanded. That's the default. If you want a nice, clean, collapsed page that people see by default, then you would want to um, toggle this to collapsed. So I'm going to do that just because that's for consistency. That's what I have across this page. And then I can add any kind of web part, really, um, that I would normally be able to add. But for this intro, I'm just going to add a text web part. and I'm going to publish. Now you can see I've got one more section, the new one that I just added, and all you have to do with these is click on them to expand and collapse. And you could really build out any kind of FAQ page, um, anything really where you want to share a lot of content, 
but you want people to be able to collapse and see only what they want to see. So play around with this, have fun, and create your next great FAQ page. I hope this helps.